want to talk about basic banded water snake care. This is a Florida banded water snake. He's about seven months old. And the way I keep him is just in like any normal snake, keep him in an aspen bedding with a little hide. You can use uh, toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, and a water bowl big enough for them to soak in. This is all they really need. You could set them up in a, uh, a water habitat. Uh, the only problem is if it's too moist, they tend to get scale rot. So you, uh, I prefer to set them up like this, but you can have the, uh, just make sure they can get completely dry. Uh, make sure they have good lighting. So they, they, um, they do, they will bask. So if you have lights, you can use lighting or you can just use a heat pad, uh, whatever, whatever you have on hand, whatever is easier for you. But they're really easy going. They're a little, they're kind of a skittish species. So you kind of have to work with them. They're not as calm as corn snakes. Even my corn snakes that I've bred in the past, even the babies, they hatch out. They're, they're really calm just right out of the egg. These guys, you got to work with them a little bit. They're not going to bite you. They're really easy going. Sometimes they might musk, uh, especially if they're wild caught. Um, but anyway, yeah, this, this guy's pattern is, uh, is, is beautiful. That's why they call him a banded water snake. I'm not sure if he'll be able to keep those colors moving forward as he gets older, but he's in shed right now. So he's not looking his best, but, uh, yeah, so that's his, that's his cage setup, and he's just in just a regular sliding lid, um, little terrarium and it works well for him. I feed him about two to three times a week. I go and catch him um, minnows out of the pond. Um, also, I, I, I'm right by the uh, a bay, so I go catch him some nice freshwater or saltwater fish, uh, little baby pinheads and stuff like that, and he, he loves those. So, uh, yeah, two, three times a week. He seems like he's doing pretty good on that. You can feed him more often. Um, they poop a lot. Um, I guess fish don't take as long to digest. But uh, they also eat frogs. I fed them some. I fed them a tree frog. I fed them little cricket frogs. So they'll eat frogs and fish. I've tried feeding them a pinky mouse. He doesn't recognize it as food yet. So uh, I might have to work with them on that. But uh, yeah, feeding them fish right now is no problem. Uh, they definitely recognize fish uh, instantly. So uh, they make great pets, though. I really enjoyed keeping this water snake, and I'm excited to watch him grow. He's about 15 inches right now. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, uh, in, they're really fun to watch in the water. Sometimes I'll fill up the bathtub and watch them swim. It's really cool. So there's not a whole lot of care videos about water snakes. So I'll try to post more about him. Uh, his name's Skittles. Um, so I thought that was a good name for him. He's just a little guy. So, um, yeah, so they get about three to four feet long or so two, two to four feet, I think is what it says uh officially but um yeah anywhere in that range so it just depends uh it says females tend to get more robust than males uh lar they get larger than males so they're kind of a heavy bodied species so uh yeah they're, they're cool so i'll i'll post some more videos as he grows and uh, I'll, I'll post some feeding videos because i think they're kind of fun to watch eat um, you can you can throw the fish in the water bowl and watch them eat them, or you can just hand feed them. I tend to just um, hand feed them or uh, off the tongs. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'll upload some more videos in the future. Thanks. Bye.